You know, there comes a time in a man's life when he realises he can't just go around melting stuff randomly anymore. That's right. It's that time in a man's life when he realises he needs a thermocontrol anti-static soldering station with a blue light-up backlight. That's right. This is Mark Fix's stuff. <laughs> Right, so I've been asked to do a very quick unboxing of this 10 mile soldering station which I picked up for about £46 from uh, CPC Farnell in the UK and that's delivered. Um, very, very uh, good company. Um, this is their own brand, I believe, Tenma, and all the parts are sort of um, interchangeable with other companies' own brands. So um, let's open it up. I'm expecting it to be quite loud because it's 60 watts. See what I did there? Yeah, it was bad, wasn't it? Sorry. So um, let's open the box. <laughs> First off, we've got a manual which um, has all the Farnell part codes in it and all that sort of stuff. So let's have a quick look at that for uh, safety reasons. I always recommend thoroughly reading the manual before you have. Oh, fuck it, I can't be bothered. Right, so let's open up the main box. Genuinely, the first time I've opened this. And what's this bit? Oh, come on out, you. Yes. It's bloody heavy actually, there's a good heft to it. I think I'll zoom out a bit so that you can see a bit more reasonably. Right, so uh, yeah, first thing out of the box is what I'm assuming is the, yes it is, it's the actual unit itself. It smells really heavily of um, manufacturing and plastic. Power on and off switch, fairly robust, uh, one amp fuse. Um, massive condom across the front. That looks pretty nice actually. Okay, and a five-pin connector because this has got a temperature sensor in tip, and it will um, depend on what you're soldering, whether it's a big heat draw or, or less, it will keep the heat of the tip fairly constant. So, just take that out and do the little cable tie. And pull it over here. I'll be plugging this in in a second. Right, so uh, we can get rid of. Don't know what that's there for. Anyone? 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 Sorry. Um, just take that box over there. So we can have a look at what else you get in the box. It's pretty difficult for me to see what's going on on camera right now. So if I do wander out of shot, I'm very sorry. So um, next we have what looks like the. Well, I always call these soldering ones because what we used to call them back in the day. But um, look, it's got a very nice little tip there. For that to focus. What they call a precision tip, I believe. And the other end is the uh, obviously the mating end for that five pin connector. I'll keep that bit of Norprene flexible tubing. It's, Gone over the tip. Obviously, I think that's in there to stop it stabbing or scratching things in the in the box because we don't like the stabbings and scratchings in transit, do we? No. So uh, yeah, that's a fairly good length of cable there. Let's see what we got here. I will actually uh, zoom out a little bit more with the uh, tripod when we've finished unboxing this. So we have the main unit and the wand. And in here, I'm assuming it's just going to be a uh, stand and sponge. Yeah, stand and sponge. Okay, pop that over there. Again, this feels quite not heavy but robust, so I'm quite pleased with that. It's made out of that, um, um, how can I describe this? Sort of die cast like a toy car. So hopefully what that would do is transfer all the heat. Oh, look. Hang on, I've worked it out, look. Keeping the uh, 
old man stable and then uh, for a bit later on. No, maybe not. Anyway, um, I've dropped my sponge on the floor, you know, the excitement. It's a fairly thin bit of sponge, it has to be said. Look how thin that is. Huh? I'm sure it will puff up quite nicely when uh, exposed to some water. So, uh, yeah, okay. So, um, bear with me a second. I'm just going to pause the camera and I'll set the bugger up. Okay, so here we are, uh, ready to put it all together. Uh, let's take the old um, protective thing off the front and let's have a quick look at the control panel. Very nice. Uh, there's three memory settings on this, so you can set it to um, three, well I think it's three, is it three or two, I can't remember. Um, you, can, you can set it to multiple temperatures and just flip from one to the other, or you can pop it up and down in, in uh, small amounts of Temperature, degrees, I imagine. Right, okay, and there's the pen. And a wand. Let's pop this together. This is quite difficult because my camera is showing me everything upside down right now. So let's pop that in there. Do it up. There we go. And uh, yeah, that's a good solid connection. This is really light, really light. Feels perfect, actually. It was really good. Okay, so um, that is that. What do we need for the incredibly thin sponge? I'll tell you what, why don't we do an experiment on the incredibly thin sponge? I'll put some water on it and we'll see what happens with the incredibly thin sponge. The incredibly thin sponge. When we uh, Make it wet. So, let's get some water. Water, water, but not a drop to drink. Where the bloody hell is the water gone? I think it's in the sink. Yeah, I'll use this glass. I want to look classy for my viewers, you see. Right, here we go, and let's see what happens. Ooh. Oh, I think I've overdone it now. Yep, I've overdone it. I've definitely overdone it. A bit too much water there. And it's swimming around like a Yorkshire pudding in gravy. Oh, actually, it's kind of... No, it's not. I'm kidding myself. One second, I'll tip some of this away. I'm going to look like a complete knob on camera. Right, OK. I'm going to edit that bit out so it looks brilliant in the, uh, in the final cut. Right, so there we are. Good. All good. Nothing bad. In this best of all possible worlds. Right, so move the camera over. Shall we see if it turns on then YouTube? I think that's a good idea. Okay, so take the old um, sex protector off the plug. Pop it into the wall. And blow myself to pieces. No, uh, we'll, we'll see. On that. In at the wall. On at the wall. Anything now? Do I need to go? And almost immediately it's sprung into life. Here we go. So, um, I've just realised at this point I don't actually have any idea what I'm looking at. So what's real? 300 we're looking at, to try and get to 300. Let's see what happens if I press this one. Set. 400. 200. Ah, so it's set to 200, 300, and 400. And I guess this is like a volume thing. We're at 33. Three. Uh, okay, so it's dropping down to 300 now. So, um, out of curiosity, let's see what happens. Oh, sorry, I've wandered out of camera there. Let's see what happens when I uh, pop this onto the sponge. I'll tell you what, that's bloody hot, bloody quick. Okay, um, 
Well, obviously I've got to prep this soldering iron before I do any real work. My next job is building the Amiga um, ATX power supply that I've been promising to everyone. So uh, you'll be seeing more of this in that. It clearly works. Um, you can clearly set whatever temperatures you like, apart from 200, 300 and 400. I think it goes up to 450 um, degrees. So yeah, looking good, looking good. Um, and certainly a, a nice step up for a decent price of 46 quid um, from my variable temperature solder station which wasn't temperature controlled if you get my drift because there is a difference temperature controlled um, mod modulates the temperature so that it stays at the right temperature now just for shits and giggles let's turn the light out <laughs> You've got to love this. Oh, sugar! You've got to love the sexy blue glow. That is Mark fixes stuffs. Sexy new solid iron. Yeah. Okay. So it's not very interesting, but I'll uh, I'll do some interesting stuff with it. In the meantime, this is Mark from Mark Fixes Stuff in the dark, surrounded by red hot sodium lights that I don't know how to navigate around. I'll see you later when I get out of the third degree burns unit in hospital. Subscribe to get your fat.